we identified the budget we need for the project. Now the company has to create this budget, otherwise we cannot do the work. We look at the project budget, what is all included in the budget, what are the elements from activity cost to the total budget of the project, and we see how the budget is funding the project. What is the project budget? The project budget may be different from the money you need to conduct the project. It contains more elements. It's not just the cost to do the work. Your financial department will allocate money to projects on a periodical basis. Every period, typically one month or three months, depending on the cost control that the company is using, you will get a reserved amount of money to do the work. As long as you still have money in your allocated budget, you can continue to work. When all that money is spent, you may have to stop working on the project. Of course, when you're not following the plan, schedule and cost, it may be a problem because you may need the money faster when you're ahead of schedule. You may need more money when you're over budget. So it's a very important element to understand. How does the project budget look like? How do we get from activity estimates to the total cost budget of the project? When we look at all those activities on the bottom, they are linked to work packages. And from the work packages, we create control accounts. All the control accounts together give you the project estimate. What is still missing is the contingency budget to take into account the risk effects, and that gives you your project baseline. Your project estimate was $1,550,000. K means thousand. Contingency budget is $250,000. So now you have a total baseline budget of 1,800K or $1,800,000. Management adds some reserves of $100,000, which gives a total budget for your project at $1,900,000. So the overview from activity to the total budget of your company for your project, of course. Let's look at the project budget and the funding. First, we have the S-curve, the green curve, the spending of money over time. And this curve looks a little bit more like an S. So that's the first element that we have. And now the company will allocate budgets over a certain period. For example, here we have the vertical lines indicating the budgeting period. For every period, the blue line shows you the money that you have available to work on your project. And this is the company budget allocation on the bottom. For example, three months, or it can be less or more. It depends on your company policies. And then the allocated budgets, the money you have available, to do the work and as long as you don't exceed that amount you can continue working on your project. You see that everywhere is a little bit of reserve that is included. It also depends on your company. Sometimes you don't have any reserve and of course budgeting can take into account when you look at your earned value parameters, the CFO can take this into account to adjust your budget Determine, depending on your EVM parameters. These are the main things about costs and budget. In the next session, we will do a more complicated exercise. So let's get your materials ready 
and get ready to start the exercise. See you in next session.